So, Dan Murray, I baptised you online during the pandemic after you'd been looking at um, looking at that app I made. Uh, how things gone? That was a few years ago now. Um, it's going really well, and then um, since my baptism, I think um, over a year now, I've um, never looked back. Been looking forward, and I um, I can um, I I feel like I cannot do it on my own. But I feel like it's the God spirit that helps me to grow and develop and go forward, move forward. So how, how did it all come that you got you ended up going down to the beach and baptizing yourself? I mean, that's a bit of an unusual thing to do. Um, I looked through the, the app store. I was looking for a, um, um, a Bible that could that have um, that easily can easily understand understand with um, commentary and all that stuff, yeah. and I stumble on um, the Bible Companion. Then I install it and go through it, and it was very eye-opening, very easy to understand. And then I, I that's how it, it got all started with me. And then I read through it, and then I, I go to the Bible Basics, and I learn about um, so many things that was. Um, confusing and then I guess it opens up my eyes and so I make that call I contact Duncan and because I always wanted to get baptized but I found it a bit hard during my journey but I'm so thankful thank God that I got finally got baptized so so why why hadn't you got baptized earlier because um it's very difficult because um in church and um in religion you cannot get baptized if you you need to have certain kind of, you know, you have to do, um, I mean, a lot, I, I, I mean, for me, I was in a long-term relationship, over 30 years, uh, children, grandchildren, and uh, with my same um, partner, I call him my husband, because um, we've been together for so long, and, but I couldn't get baptized because of that reason, and, but it was my, I've always wanted to get baptized. And so I found out that I can get baptized because it's not really about, because it is a relationship. It's a mutual, real relationship that I had with my partner. So okay. I got baptized. And, and what did you find? You say you went through the Bible basics section in the app. There's a lot of non-standard stuff there that a lot of Christian people would have eh, difficulty with. How did you get on with some of those ideas? Um, one of the things that was very important for me because I wanted to partake in the um, in the Lord's Supper, the, yeah. the as, um, you, as some churches call it, communion, because I never get to have that opportunity, that chance. But I really, really wanted. These are two of the things that I really wanted to get baptized and to partake in the um, Lord's table. But I was not allowed because of my situation. So really. I get to partake in the Lord's table because it's no one's table, it's the Lord's table. Yeah, but what I meant was when you went through, say, the Bible basic stuff, I mean, there's stuff there that is most definitely like non Trinitarian and stuff that's saying that the devil doesn't exist in the way that a lot of people think it does. What did you, what did you make of that? I have, very, I have a lot of doubts about the, um, the devil. Because I feel like that, why are we getting condemned for if we're being tempted by the devil? The devil make me do it, so I'm not responsible for that. But yet we get condemned, we heard about it. But then I read through the Bible basics, it clearly explains about the devil and the non-existence of the devil. It's in you, it's all in your head. So, and it makes a lot of sense. And um, it's very good eye-opening. So you're good with that. What about this whole thing about the Trinity? The Trinity learned about so much about there is one God, there is one true God, and um, Jesus is his son. So one God, one son, not in, a, um, not in this role of God in Son, God in Holy Spirit. One God in... Um, but I guess you uh, heard you previously you'd believed in the Trinity or... That's right, because um, you know a lot of people in church grew up um, teaching about um, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So it's a, it gets confused sometimes, like 
you don't know where to draw the line and it's very good it's, it's too much too much to um to but it's it, it, it's very it's, it's clear there's nothing there's no confusion about it god the father is one and only true god and jesus is, is his son who died for us because god can never die he won't be god if he died he can never die jesus died so you didn't have any problem with the uh, ditch of the Trinity? No, I have no um, no problem with Trinity. I do not believe in Trinity. I believe in one and only true God, the Father and His Son who died for us. So I mean, here we are outside a, uh, a McDonald's here in Victoria, Australia. I mean, what's your message for people? Yeah, like um, the if you um, download the app, the um, Bible companion. The Bible yeah. companion. It it not only it ha it explains line by line about the um, each line of the Bible, the, the commentary, and it also include at the back. They include the Bible basics. It um, explains um, Jesus Christ and um, God, and um, it talks about the devil as well and the uh, um, the Trinity. And it's it's uh, very clear. It's very clear, simple, and easy to understand.